Hey everyone, it's Matt from Rock U. Back today with another one minute masterclass. Today's masterclass, two simple tips to help you figure out how to play bass. Now at Rock U, we've discovered that a lot of people who have never played bass before really enjoy it. It's simple to learn, at least at first. It's so cool to have another musician in the family. Oh yeah, and you know what the great thing is about music? It's so easy. Ah, uh, well, to truly master an instrument, you'll need years of- So easy. You can learn just a few notes and start playing with people right away. Oh my god, I'm amazing. Dude, you're already one of the greatest bass players of all time. And it's really fun. It's really, it's got a great tactile feeling and you really, it's got a groovy sound. And Now a lot of people have been around guitars at home or piano at home and it's pretty easy to figure out what it is to play drums because you've hit stuff before. But playing the bass is probably new for most people who step into Rock U for the first time. But there are two mistakes that I find beginner bass players make all the time. The first thing is in the right hand. Now if you're playing a note on bass, I'm picking a B, most people see those thick strings and they start really whacking away. That's not the right way to play bass. You actually, because the strings are so thick, once you get them moving, they kind of move on their own. You really just basically need to tickle them like this, just barely brushing them. And that's going to give you a nice sound. So when you play, it's not much pressure in your right hand, just brushing the strings so they start moving. That's all you need. The second thing that people do wrong, especially if they've played guitar before, is fretting with the left hand. Now, guitar on a guitar, pretty much you put your finger between, if you're playing that B note again, you put your finger most of the time between the two frets and you're going to get a B. But on a bass, there's enough difference, depending on where you put your finger, that you're going to hear a different note. So, so on a bass, you really want to fret the note right next to the fret, just like that. You see how that is? Instead of in the middle the way you would on a guitar. On a guitar, it just won't make that much difference. So. So light, just tickling on the right hand, near the fret on the left hand, and then you're ready to play bass. By the way, don't let anyone tell you you're playing the bass wrong if you want to use your thumb, or if you want to use your fingers, or if you want to use a pick. You can find the best bass players in the world using all three different methods. So just ignore someone who says, oh, you're playing the bass wrong, you're using a pick.